If you're like me, a lot of the time you spend logged into the game, you're AFK. Whether it be while you're working, watching your favorite content creator, at the gym between sets, or even being kingly on your porcelain throne. We all need something to AFK. So sometimes on my Iron Man, I don't know what to AFK. And I thought, if I'm having this problem, there has to be others out there with a similar issue. So why not make a video? In common RuneScape parlance, AFK just means some combination of low intensity and time without interaction with game client. So with that being said, these methods take into account the actual time between actions, the ability to take breaks without ruining the method, and how relaxing the method is overall. These methods are in no particular order since the viability of these methods are going to depend on your account progression and are going to be different from person to person. Let's get into it. Now the first method is making cannonballs. It requires 35 smithing and completion of the dwarf cannon quest. After the introduction of the double ammo mold, I am not kidding when I say that making cannonballs is one of the best AFK methods for early, mid, and even late game Iron Man, because not only is it low intensity, it allows for upwards of 75 seconds of AFK time, and you can take breaks between runs without ruining your progress. Most importantly, cannonballs augment one of the longest and most important grinds on an Iron Man, Slayer. Now I think this method is not as widely known as it should be, and it's making golden tiaras. With the introduction of Guardians of the Rift early last year, the Golden Tiara was added to the game, and along with it, this AFK method. Requiring 42 crafting, each tiara grants 35 crafting experience, 10 more than the commonly crafted Golden Bracelet. And of course, it's perfect, low intensity method with AFK time of about 40 seconds in inventory. Now, while you're losing some potential money that you would get from Alking or selling the bracelets, the extra experience might be more appropriate for your Iron Man. Okay. So next we have shooting stars. Now this method has the potential of allowing you to AFK for upwards of 25 minutes. However, the intensity may vary. For example, finding a shooting star can take upwards of five minutes. So there is some calculation you have to make when deciding whether or not to AFK shooting stars. That being said, there are a couple of resources you can use. The first is the star miner CC. They call it the star locations in the chat. There's also the shooting stars plugin in the plugin hub. And in the description, I've linked a public spreadsheet that updates in real time. However, I would suggest finding your own stars if you wish to AFK for long periods of time. Most stars found and shared publicly deplete pretty quickly. So in the description, I've linked a wonderful video by the Ed Boys YouTube channel, which goes into more detail than I can do here. Make sure to check it out if you're interested. And finally, I suggest that you use the stardust gained from shooting stars to buy soft clay packs, which leads us into our next AFK method. Creating magic tablets is a great AFK method for Iron Man. You're always going to want house teleports for redirection scrolls, so it will be worth it for most Iron Men to use this method. While creating tablets, there is around 60 seconds of AFK time. It has varying degrees of intensity depending on the method you use for unnoting the clay. As for the setup, you'll need noted soft clay as well as runes for the specific tablets you wish to create. Keep in mind you can replace rune costs with any staff or tome. Now, for the lowest intensity setup, use your butler to unnote your soft clay. You can do this efficiently by opening your house options and clicking the call serve it button to bring your butler to you. Though do keep in mind that this may be too expensive for your Iron Man, and teleporting to a bank may be more viable, so make sure you use the right method for your Iron Man. The next method is catching Karam wands. It requires 65 fishing and completion of the Taibo Wanai Trio quest. Fishing is typically a low intensity skill, but unfortunately there is little AFK time since fishing spots move and you run out of inventory space pretty quickly. Thankfully, catching Krom ones with a fish barrel addresses both of these problems. The fishing spots at Krom ones don't move, and with the fish barrel, which holds 28 extra fish, you have 5 minutes of AFK time before your inventory is full and you have to bank. To get there, use the fairy ring code DKP. And to bank, use the code DJR to the chasm of fire, and run west to the bank. Alternatively, you may find it lower intensity to fairy ring to Xanaris, so that you can one-click teleport to previous location every trip. If you need more AFK time and don't need crumb ones, fishing Inferno Eels might be more appropriate for your account. With the steep requirements of 80 fishing and completion of the fight caves, this method offers 3-4 minutes of AFK time with extremely low intensity and around 27k experience per hour. For the setup, you need fishing bait, an oily rod, icy gloves, and a hammer to smash the eels. It's also recommended that you wear your Rada's Blessing if you have one. Even though I don't recommend this method, I feel it should be mentioned. Catching Maniacal Monkeys is locked behind the Monkey Madness 2 quest. It has AFK time of around 10 to 30 seconds and low click intensity. Each catch rewards 1000 experience, and you can expect 60 to 120,000 experience per hour. As for required items, all you need is the Crut Gregory and Bananas. 
The most straightforward method is to bring baskets of bananas to carry your bait. Alternatively, you can bring the bones to banana spell to turn the bones scattered around the room into bananas. Though, keep in mind you can't cast bones to bananas while you're transformed, so tablets are recommended. The next method here is a fan favorite. It's plank making with the lunar spellbook. You need 86 magic, and you must have completed the dream mentor quest. It's very low intensity with 90 seconds of AFK time, and you can take breaks without losing any progress. This method yields around 1k planks an hour and 90k magic experience. If you have natures, buying ashes to use this spell will save you millions of GP when making teak and mahogany planks. Motherlone Mine is required for the Hard Falador Diary, so while I don't find it all that great to AFK, it has a few good rewards that every Iron Man should want to get. It requires 30 mining and has AFK time from 8 all the way up to 60 seconds with relatively high click intensity. You can expect anywhere from 15 to 50,000 experience per hour and 6 to 12 nuggets per hour depending on your mining level. Also, remember that with 54 agility you can use this shortcut to get to the outer ring of the mine and to travel to and from the bank. It's also worth noting that the Varric Armor's double ore bonus does not apply to the Motherlode mine. Good luck. There is a good amount of time spent on an Iron Man AFK at a bank processing items. Let's quickly run through some of them. Glass blowing takes 48 seconds per inventory, the same amount of time as the Golden Tiaras. With unpowered orbs you get around 90k experience an hour, and with light orbs you get around 125k experience per hour. Fletching a full inventory of logs takes about 55 seconds. And as an Iron Man, it's not a bad idea to use some of your extra cash on miscellanea to get some extra maple logs. Making herb tars is often overlooked as a really good AFK method. If you've done some Zoro or TLB KC, you probably have some swamp tar stockpiled up. This method allows for AFK times of around 45 seconds per inventory, with 60k XP an hour with Guams, 80k an hour with Marantils, 105k an hour with Tyramins, and 140k with Heartlanders. So definitely not something to overlook if you got extra herbs in the bank. Okay, so the last methods we're going to cover are all pertaining to AFK combats. Now, I would only suggest doing AFK combat skills if any or all of the methods previously mentioned are unavailable to you, or you have no need for the resources or experience that they give you. That being said, all these methods have been detailed to their death, so we'll rapid fire through them. For Vyres, you need to have completed Sins of the Father and have at least 43 prayer. For Gear, you need an Ivandus or a Blister with a Flail, and you're going to want high prayer bonus along with some decent strength bonus. The higher your prayer bonus, the longer you can AFK, though you're trading off XP per hour, so find the right balance for yourself. Personally, I wear Proselyte top and legs, along with a Fury, and the rest is going to be just best in slot strength. To get there, use your Drac of the Medallion to teleport to Darkmire, and run north. When you're low prayer, use the Altar across from the bank, and when you need to bank, wear your Vire Noble clothing to be allowed to use the bank. If you don't have or lost your clothing, it can be purchased from Old Man Rao's house in this location. It wouldn't be an AFK video if I didn't mention Nightmare Zone. Though I wouldn't recommend any Iron Man to use this place for anything other than getting points, we aren't all the most efficient and sometimes you want something easy to AFK for 20 minutes at a time. Though if you're really going to AFK Nightmare Zone, use the Absorption Potion method with Super Combats or Super Sets. Put it on a normal customizable rumble so that the bosses do less damage and don't shred through all of your absorptions while you're AFK. You're going to want to choose the best 5 bosses in descending order. Currently I use Trap Soul, Count Drainer, Sand Snake, The Kendall, and me. So don't feel like you need all the best stuff to do this. Once you're in, drink all your absorption potions and locate an orb to 1 HP, stand on this tile specifically for the best experience rates, and drink your stat boosting potions. You should be able to AFK for around 20 minutes before you have to touch the client again. Though, if you can locate an orb down to 1 HP, I would do it as often as possible to stay in the Nightmare Zone for as long as possible. Anyways guys, that's all I've got for now. If you've got any other good AFK Iron Man methods, leave it below in the comments and I will pin it so that everybody can benefit. If you like the video, go check out some of my other content. I, I recently started a new series on a 45 Defense Iron Man, um, inspired by Bodhi's One Man Army series, and it gets right into the action, so you don't have to watch the same early game as every other series. Alright, later.